Okay, let's talk about the changes in the Chase ecosystem. I'm joking, we're gonna talk about you. Hi guys and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time to the channel, we're talking about credit cards, points, finances and travel. If this is something that interests you, please like this video, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Guys, the channel is closing to a thousand subscribers. I wanna thank you all. Uh, it's been an amazing one and a half year. We have created a great community, but because of this community that we created, I wanted to see exactly who you are. Uh, so without any further ado, let's see uh, who exactly are you. The first thing I like to see is always the location. So it looks like as of uh, today, uh, June 4th, the 85% of you roughly is from the US. Surprisingly, I have 1.7% from Peru which is crazy because I really don't know anyone in Peru. So thank you to all my Peruvian viewers. 0.4% um, Puerto Rico, 0.3% Costa Rica. I mean, that's to be expected. I have my wife there, a bunch of family and friends, um, and then 0.2% Russia. But who's missing from this? Greece. None of my family or friends is watching me. So, what the heck? Come on, guys. Where's my family? Where are you? Where are you? So, yeah. None of my family, none of my friends is watching. Uh, maybe my mom and my sister. But it's not enough to, to see it here. So, it's not reflected. 91% of you are guys. 9% uh, are women. And I must say that most likely this women is my wife's friends. Uh, I know that most of you are men, like 95, 96%. Uh, so lately my wife had some friends uh, follow me. So that is the 9%. I really think it's more like 95% of you are guys. And most of you are between 25 and 45. So... 25 to 45 is who you are guys in the US so when I say guys it's literal <laughs> most of you are watching Sundays Mondays Tuesdays and Wednesdays so I assume most of you want your weekends free so Friday Saturday are dead days most of you are returning viewers uh, which is to be expected this is a very niche subject uh, points and uh, credit cards and then on top of that we do the kind of presentations that are very mathematical so I assume that that's not very attractive for way too many people now the one thing I always notice and that's why I keep asking you to subscribe please it's 70 almost 2 percent 72 percent of you uh, watch these videos uh, repeatedly without being subscribed so 28% of you are subscribed, 72 are not, and most of uh, that 72% are people that repeatedly watch these videos. So yeah, when I say please subscribe, yeah, please subscribe. That that really helps. Uh, plus, it's more than anything, it's an emotional booster. One of my favorite things to do is do the polls. Uh, I ask you questions, I give you some uh, options you answer and I get an idea of what you guys like. So on a high level, you guys like the credit card comparisons more than anything. I have 50% uh, of you saying that this is more than anything that you want and a surprising 25% like more travel videos. Uh, much less is the simple credit card presentations and general financial advice is the least. So you guys are here for credit cards and for some travel. Most of you like to use your points for travel. 74% of you like to use your points for travel, which is understandable. You, the best redemptions are for travel. Uh, but some of you use them as emergency savings. This is something I have done in the past and it really helped me a lot. Um, if you have a credit card that has zero annual fee for the next 15 months, that alone could be used as emergency savings. But having some hardcore points on the side um, that you know they're there regardless is a big help, at least mentally. Even if you never use them this way and you use them for travel, as you should, uh, just having some points there on the side, big mental booster. When it comes to crypto, I'm surprising how little 
you guys care about that. Uh, 50%, 51%, they say you couldn't care less about what's going on in the crypto world. Uh, and only 38% uh, of you say buy or you, you, you're excited about it, which is also surprising. I would expect people that care about financials, but I guess you're more conservative. Uh, I mean, that, that's understandable. Uh, personally, I love crypto. I love putting money into it, but I'm not going crazy about it. It's not nearly close to what I could put uh, into crypto, but I feel like I would be, uh, I would miss out if I didn't have anything on it, especially with the latest dip. I have bought plenty um, and see what's going on. But if I lose it, it's not money I really need. So with that in mind, yes, I also like crypto, but 51% of you don't. Credit card debt. Most of you don't have credit card debt. That makes me very happy. I see 47% of you don't have any credit card debt. Some of you have over 20%, but uh, the rest have under $1,000 and many under $100. Uh, and from that 20% over 5,000, I talked to some of you guys and you said that it's basically because you have businesses and you just use them this way. You take the money out and you use them in something else to invest or in your business. So. Yeah, even the people that do have that 20% over 5,000, it looks like you know what you're doing, so congratulations. Last time we did a Q&A, I only received three questions. So I guess you're not interested in learning anything or from me or whatever. You don't care about my opinion, so thank you. <laughs> what is your favorite uh, kind of credit card? Most of you says bank with flexible currency is 86%. I completely understand that you can transfer to whomever you want. Uh, some of you are loyalists uh, for hotels and some for airliners, but uh, most of you understand that once you have a flexible currency, you can transfer to those. So yeah, there's no point of really spending on those credit cards unless you spend them on the hotel. Like if you have a Hilton Aspire, of course, you're going to use a Hilton Aspire card uh, when you travel to a Hilton Aspire. Uh, same thing for Hyatt, same thing for um, most of hotels, but that doesn't, that's not true for airliners. Most airline credit cards have worse multipliers than uh, the bank credit cards that give you flex flexible currency. So instead of getting three or five X, you're getting only two X, uh, which is crazy to think. But yeah, uh, airliners, really the worst. Uh, hotels are the second and then by far the best as expected, is a flexible currency. Your favorite ecosystem? Unsurprisingly, American Express and Chase are head-to-head, 47% for both, and then 3% for City, 3% for Capital One. I have to say, I have a feeling a year ago, Capital One would not even be recorded here, uh, but with the VentureX, uh, things uh, start changing. I know that they're opening uh, so many uh, lounges. So there's hope that American Express and Chase will get a run for their money. And that's good for us consumers. So far, uh, American Express and Chase by far the best. I ask you how you like the format of the presentations. Uh, most of you said it's okay, or it's a keeper uh, that you like it. So that's why we keep the slides, the duration. You said you like the standard durations, uh, and the other ones like it less than five or uh, 10 or more are basically the same, so we keep it as is. Your favorite hotel chain is unsurprisingly Hyatt. They offer the best redemption when it comes to credit cards. Uh, you really get a lot of value with Hyatt. I love Hyatt, I love the hotels. It's not only, it's not only the redemption that's incredible, you get roughly 2x per point, and if you have the Hyatt card, you're gonna get especially internationally, almost guaranteed an upgrade. And that could lead you to a 3X as I have experienced. The worst hotel you can get at Hyatt, the Hyatt place, is somewhere in the middle to any other hotel chain. That, that At least that's how it feels. I've been to Marriott's, I've been to uh, Hilton's. Um, not that I don't like them, but Hyatt is just better in my opinion.
IHG, I feel, will get a whole lot more love with the upgrade in their credit card uh, because it's really a no-brainer. It's at the same level as the Hyatt card based on the numbers. And if IHG is something that you like, also has a much larger uh, footprint uh, than the Hyatt. So that might be something you need to consider for the future. Are you aware uh, that you can apply for business cards without having a business? Um, some of you said, yes, I have plenty. Uh, some of you said, yes, but I don't care. Some of you, a surprising big number, 30% said, no, I need to get a few. Um, I had this question because I did some presentations for business credit cards and they didn't get much love. I compared all American Express business credit cards, all Chase business credit cards, uh, the typical fashion, put them next to each other, rank them. Uh, they didn't get much love, but I have a feeling based on this that many of you are not realizing that you could get those credit cards and really get a lot of value, especially the co-branded credit cards. They seem to have the best value. When it comes to flexible points, it seems that the personal cards are much better. But when it comes to co-branded, they are close or at the same level, especially the IHG, for example. It's exactly the same level as the personal, especially if you're under 524, business credit cards don't count towards 524. So you could get both IHG credit cards practically. Then I ask you about the inflation. Inflation has been going crazy lately. Uh, most of you think it's between eight and 10%. Some of you, the second highest is over 10%. And then some of you say five to 8%. Only 13% of you thinks it's uh, 5% or less. Um, my personal opinion, honestly, it's over 10%. Easy, easy. Uh, well, gas alone is enough to uh, tell you that. But uh, grocery stores, I see what I pay to get exactly the same amount of food. Um, so yeah, it's going crazy. That's why I keep saying you need to have at least an average of four points or 4% back. If you have 4% back and then you use that for travel, then you can get at least 6x. So it's technically 6% uh, when you use it for travel, which helps a lot. So yeah, you're going to lose some money, but it's not going to be as bad as it would be otherwise. So credit cards help a lot. Are you planning to travel this summer? Yes, but I'm staying in the country 55%. Only 35% are, are going overseas and 10% they're not doing anything. Uh, so yeah, 55% staying in the country, which explains uh, some of your decisions when it comes to credit cards. Uh, but yeah, 35% are going overseas. I have a feeling that uh, many people are just reserved because of what's going on with the flights right now. Not only they're expensive, there's delays, there's cancellations, and you might get stuck somewhere. But based on personal experience, most delays and cancellations happen domestically, not internationally. Uh, so yeah, especially when you travel to European Union, uh, keep in mind that European Union has many more protections uh, when it comes to uh, delays and cancellations. So if you ever find yourself in a bad situation, you will probably get a good amount of money. And the kind of money you get typically with high-end credit cards here when they have cancellations, uh, protections and things like that. So they do that uh, for everyone. Then I ask you, do you know that every time you watch a video and you don't subscribe, a fairy dies. And 37% of you said, yes, but I don't care. Why wouldn't you? Why don't you watch? Why do you keep watching without subscribing? Just help, man. What the? The most recent question was, if you had only one luxury credit card, which one would you get? 46% unsurprisingly say the platinum. The surprising part here is that the Capital Venture X is at 29% and it's second. So it's more than the Sapphire Reserve at this point. And the numbers are there. The numbers support your opinion. The Capital One Venture X is a much better credit card than what the Reserve is at this point. Now, it doesn't have exactly the same um, travel partners like the Sapphire Reserve but or, or or the chase in general 
but yeah, the Capital One uh, Venture X is should be illegal. I think it's a publicity stunt, honestly. I don't think this will continue long term, so take advantage while you can. Uh, Venture X, incredible. The last one that um, is not recorded here, but you guys kept talking about is the Marriott uh, Ritz Carlton. Uh, the Ritz card, it's not available uh, for public right now. One of you actually said that you can really upgrade the Marriott credit card to that. I need to put that to the test. I, I can't say anything because I really don't know. I don't have any Marriott credit cards as of this point. Um, but if I do get, I will for sure try that. Next credit card most likely though will be the Hilton Aspire because I've been looking at that card and drooling the whole time. That card should also be legal. I don't know how they do it, but it's an amazing credit card. But that's all for today. Let me know how do you think this number really matched to you, if these are representative of who you are, or let me know how they differ from uh, who you are. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, ciao.